car show, checking out Swamp and my cousin Merlin stuff. He helped build all that. Yeah, Merlin's old school garage. Hanging out with my cousin here. Damn, now we're going wheeling. Go to like 10, Matt. That way, up over a trail. And That's what Matt said. We're so we're gonna head up that trail and then we're gonna stay on it until we get on another trail. We're gonna head up to that trail. Do you guys know where that trail I don't is? Know the name of and get back to my house and never touch pavement other than this little stretch. I made it so you can't walk around your Jeep, Paul. This is what Matt looks like in his casual wear. Oh my. Better make that slow motion. <laughs> I'm going to. <laughs> got one ride with you. Alright, this is about the end of the pavement right here. You'll recognize this trail from one of my other videos where we went and rescued a Arctic cat or wild cat up here. We're gonna go clear through the trail today. wheeling the yoda is going to get its first actual workout i built this road back in the day in the old dakota
to go from the valley to Kanab. They, they went up there from. and down that canyon because they couldn't pull her wagons they through the sand. They on the two tracker, heading over to our next trail. This one connects into, it's going to be called the Peekaboo Trail System. We're going to roll over to that, ease up through and end up on the Glendale Bench. Yeah, because we just eased up that hill. Like it weren't even there, the old taco just wheeled right up it. Thought we were going to have to pull ourselves a banana there for a minute, but we didn't. What's up? What's up? A drag race? That would go over really well right here. We die. Oh. You went for a low? No! Childish behavior. <laughs> Childish behavior. People are going to think you have a big wad of chaw on your mouth. Well, I do. It's a big wad of sunflower seed chaw. Right up the bottom of it. <laughs> and the bumper. Oh, it's broken. That tire's not supposed to be leaning at that angle. Well, what do you got for on Jack? The okay. Same one he's got. Well this, then. I think this. We're getting closer. No, I got this. What size was that one? There you go. brought a hammer in case somebody gets angry. When in doubt, hammer out. That's off the ground now, so. Don't get in by this handle. Yeah. Unless you like not being around very often. Meet, meet, meet. Want me to make the ratchet noise for you? I just did it. Yeah. All right, you won't die now. Allen wrench. There you go. Something to dig the mud out with. <laughs> Some parts, Rudy. You're there in you charge. Go. You're okay, in I'm going to hurt your feelings and tell you that I do not have the spanner tool socket with me. Uh, You're going to have to use a screwdriver. Yeah. I spent most ball. of my life not even knowing there was such a tool. If you guys need anything, I'll be mm -hmm. over here. Supervising. How, aren't you the mechanic here? No. Nope. Give me something yeah. to pick that uh, C clip out with, Paul. The Jeep. I, I'm not Here, set this up there on the hood. I need a screwdriver and a tappy, tappy, tappy. You get another one of those, these screwdrivers, because I'm about to break the tip off of this one. I need a substantial pry chisel. <laughs> I doubt it fit in there. All right, I'm going to have to look for the right tools. You might you have are... to get those Pringles out of your hand. We're here in the trenches and you're they eating Pringles. They are slowing him down. <laughs> right, How about do this that? one? Let's see. Turn it. It's, I mean, we've been tap, tap, tap a room in here. How about this? Let me see that. Look, <laughs> I got another one. <laughs> that one. Huh. Oh, I've got the broken screwdriver in the Jeep. My broken screwdriver. I think it fell out. No, it didn't. Okay. All right. I knew you were going to do it. Let's get this done. I'm just going to get out of my way. <laughs> Over. Oh. <laughs> Still looking. He already did it. Did we have to get a real mechanic on the job? Yeah, like right when you walked away, it was off. <laughs> broke the housing. Well, broke it. Stripped the bottom ones out. And then we were screwed. Why? Can you not fix it now? Well, not with what I currently have. <laughs> Looks like I'm going to have to go steal Grandpa Sherm's truck. We're going to have to come and tow her out of here. I get one Jeep of yours out of my shop, and now we got to put it down. <laughs> Our leisure activity just turned into a rescue. Oh! Whoa! You almost got it. You did get it. I mean, a little bit. We barely lived through that. 
guess welcome to Jeep and something's always gonna break. It's just a matter of it's your turn or someone else's. Today it's Papa Dar. I'm just we were trying back to out. go to pick up okay. Karen, but Rudy, right now just pull it. Rudy, let's just pull it back. How long have you been okay. stuck? Oh, five minutes. Oh, that's it? Perfect. Yeah. How lucky are these people? I know. <laughs> it's a Jeep thing. Jeep. You wouldn't understand. Yeah, just to explain how old I am, I sneezed this morning and threw my back out. Everybody out the way. I want you on the other side of that road. We just, we'll just pull you down here, get you turned around, and get you headed out. All right, how was that? Not that was so amazing. bad, right? Absolutely amazing. We're just gonna make sure they make it out to the road. We're uh, racing against the clock right now. It's gonna get dark no matter what, but we'd still rather get home at 2 a.m. than 4 a.m. That's why we're in a hurry. Those people are really nice. Yeah, they are. Look at these repairs. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Those are beautiful. So now we're just waiting for the tow truck. Rudy and Bryn took the kids back to the house. Paul and Papa Dar are in Grandpa Sherm's tow truck, and we are heading back out here to get Papa Dar's Jeep. It's gonna get dark on us. Tow truck. It's a uh, 383. It's a transmission. SM465. Four speed. Just oh, the good old bulletproof. Yeah, yeah. Cast iron. Four Cast speed. iron. Four yeah. speed. And a 205. 205. That's twin stick, so we can go low range two wheel. Or... Throw your Throw tire, tire in. And kick transfer case in neutral. <laughs> I'll help you. You're you're crippled, Matt. You shouldn't have sneezed, man. <laughs> well, let's uh, see about this no steering situation on the way out of here. It's got a spool in the back, so it doesn't like to turn when you put weight on the back end. It's not that heavy. We're gonna be good. We'll be able to steer most of the time.
pump this thing up. So for everybody that was trying to tell me about air compressors, we've been doing it forever. My truck's just not that kind of a truck. And if I do that to that truck, it won't look like it does anymore. So we're definitely not a tow company. And I'm not a legitimate one. <laughs> so this is a compressor off of an old Chrysler, one of those V-twin yeah. compressors. There we go. Everything's shifted into the proper gears now. Papa Dar has been rescued. We came, we saw, we're dragging the Jeep home. <laughs>